All right, everybody, and so now we're on the interior. Now, um, we'll just start out right here looking at the steering wheel for a minute. And uh, this car has got a ton of technology built into it, okay? I mean, right off the get-go here, you got your Bluetooth cell phone system right there. You can control that center screen, which is massive in size. Let's just zoom in there for a minute. Look how big that screen is, wow. And then uh, volume over here, and then cruise control over here. Let's listen to the horn. Horn sounds good. It sounds like a Honda horn should sound. And then right over here, you do have push start, which as you can see, it's already lighting up. You know, I don't know how it knows I'm over here, but it's saying, hey, crank me up right now. So what to do? Let's take those big Timberland boots, put the brake down, and click right here. She's alive. She's alive. It's alive. That's right. I mean, and you can definitely tell it's alive. I mean, all the screens start lighting up, looking nice and pretty. Again, this is a brand new car, so not everything is set up, you know, exactly the way it needs to be for uh, for the person that buys its preferences, but I can do enough to show you a few things on it. So first of all, I'm going to have to close this door. So I want to get right into it real quick with this center screen here. And it's a huge display, which looks good at nighttime. You know, they've gone away now with your, your traditional tachometer and speedometer. Everything rolls right through there, okay? So your mile per hour is kind of be where that zero's at, and then your tach is right there. It red lines out at uh, 6.5, so 6,500 RPM right around there. Um, so I, I like the setup on the inside here. And again, like I said earlier, you can press different buttons here. So let's check it out and see what's going on. Sirius, satellite radio right there. Um, you know, you just keep clicking over. That'll change the channels. Okay, so we'll put it on some pop music for a minute. And, uh, you know, there's FM, AM, Sirius. You also notice over here, while I'm clicking through, it's also clicking through on our big screen right there. I will let you know that uh, Honda has added in Apple CarPlay, and then you can also download download a uh, an app with Android and be able to set that up. Okay, I'm not going to be able to show you all that stuff right now in this particular video, but basically with Apple CarPlay, when the phone is synced up with the car, your uh, it's going to basically take your screen, the apps, and everything you got right there on your phone, and just put it right there on that screen. So texts and all different things can pop up right in there for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, no more buttons. These are touch, touch. Uh, it's touch screen, okay? So you just touch those things right there. Volume, menu, and let's click on menu for just a moment and look around. And uh, or let's click on the home button, okay? That will show you some options you have there: audio info, Honda Link, phone settings, smartphone connection, all that good stuff. So there's a ton of information in here. It's basically a built-in computer right here in the car and uh, that's just the way things are nowadays also I will tell you I've been talking about this for years now there's no more there's no more CD players in the car okay I've been saying it I'm like I've been saying it for five years now I'm like hey CD players are getting transitioned out in the near future well finally in 2017 there's no CD player in this Honda Civic and there's no CD player in the new 2017 Honda H uh, uh, CRV okay so no need for CDs with scratches on them, not playing properly, okay? That's why you can just dial in your phone, listen to XM radio, AM, FM radio, or put in a USB stick somewhere in here and transport the music right through there, okay? So that's pretty cool. Let's keep moving around, take a look around. Do have uh, heated seats, driver, passenger side, okay? So, you know, when you live down here in the south, it doesn't get that cold, so I don't really see a need to use heated seats all that often. But I can tell you, if I've been playing sports all day or I just need my body to relax a little bit while on a long drive, it's nice to have that heated seat option there. I'd rather have cooled seats, but um, I don't think Honda's added cool seats into the Civic just yet. But that's probably something they're gonna have in the future here. Now, uh, there's your, your shifter for your automatic transmission. You can get it in a manual if you want a six-speed manual, okay? Um, you got electronic park brake right here, so that's nice to have. And uh, I like the cup holder setup. It's pretty cool. Let me show you this real quick. I got my Yeti cup in there with some Kool-Aid. But um, see how this kind of, this slides back just like that. And then it also, it can be, it can, uh, it can do something else I noticed on it. There's a button right there and it can kind of go like that, right? But uh, you got two cup holders right there, right? And then if that wasn't enough for you, you got another cup holder down there, as you can see. 
okay you also got a usb port right down there as well um, the only thing i noticed when driving earlier uh, when you hit the gas and you get up and go this thing kind of slides back and hits right there so it moves around a little bit i don't know if honda meant it to be that way i mean of course they wanted it to be able to move around but um maybe you got to push that forward like that so it just moves right there i did notice that moved around just a little bit okay um on the front here and i know it's hard to see but basically under here right back there that is where your usb port is at to plug in for your phone so if you want to have a charger see how i got a cord right here you can plug that cord in right back there and charge or connect your phone up that way okay so you got that spot back there um, moving moving along i'm trying not to get too long-winded on this video but let's cut these lights off for a second um, one thing I noticed, they do not have a, uh, a spot for sunglasses. There's no spot up here for sunglasses. Just two lights and then a spot to open that sunroof up, okay? So that's all you got right there. No sunglass holders. Again, you might just want to lay them right here or put them over in the glove box. Pretty big glove box as well. Um, stereo system, let's pull it up and let's listen to it really quickly here and uh, see what, what she sounds like. So, uh, and again, it's going to take you a minute when you're in this car after you buy one to figure everything out, okay? I, I advise you to sit with your sales guy after you buy the car and let him go over everything with you. And then when you get home over the next few days, you know, sit out in your driveway and just check things out and set everything up the way you want it set up. So, audio. You know, volume's right here. I'm so used to clicking on knob. I've grabbed that before a few times thinking it was volume and it's, you know, it's your climate control. But now you got this. You can hold it and it'll go quicker. Okay. Sounds pretty good. And you can turn it back down just like that. Okay. So that's your audio system. And I, I, will, I will point out to you too on your stereo system. Honda's ramped things up a little bit. You have component sets on your stereo system so let me let me show you that real quickly here okay you have a speaker down here and then you have so that's your mids right there and then you have your tweeters which are your highs right there on the door panel so you got two speaker setups right there in the car now that's that's a honda over there and uh, that is your civic and that's a really cool color as well and uh, let's keep moving around and take a look at this car now you got a decent amount of room in the back seats. I mean, again, it's a Civic, but it's got more room than I've seen in previous Civics out there. I mean, I got my camera bags in here with all my camera gear, but a decent amount of leg space. Again, I'm six foot one, and I'm sitting in that seat right there, and I got plenty of room, okay? Headroom's pretty decent too, so not bad there, and not bad room in the back. Now, before we kind of end this video today, I wanna just quickly here, take a look in the trunk and see what kind of space we got back there because a lot of people want to know you know what kind of trunk space we got in a hatchback car my wife said this to me she said chad i like a hatchback car i said why is that she said well when you got kids like we do and you got to have strollers and all that stuff a hatchback it's easier to fit things in okay it opens up like that and you can just throw all your stuff in your strollers and everything you need and your groceries okay um honda's done a great job they got this nice little cover here that keeps it nice and quiet and where you are not quiet but where you can't see back there so nobody messes with your personal items back seats do fold down 40 60 back seat split that's about on every car nowadays and you got a nice looking mat back here so plenty of room in the trunk and then under there is your spare so pretty decent it's got spots here to grab to pull that down as you can see so that, that worked out nice looking good looking good so anyways that's in a wrap up that's the honda civic 2017 and uh, if you're interested in buying a new 717 honda civic what i can tell you if you live in the carolinas whether you're in columbia myrtle beach whether you're in hilton head I advise you to check out Stokes Honda North, okay? Go on their website. We have tons of inventory. And what I mean is a lot of Honda stores that I've been to on the East Coast and in the Carolinas, they're not as big as this, okay? We got a parking lot packed full of cars, as you can see. I mean, there is hundreds and hundreds of cars. I mean, Civics start down there and roll all the way 
down here and I mean they're just spread out so that's why I say shop at Stokes Honda North because we got a selection we got tons of cars pick the color you want pick the interior the options and we'll have it on ground people don't want to sit around and wait three to four to five days for a car to get trucked in they want to go to the store buy it right then so that's what I could tell you so comment let me know what you think about the Civic if you've bought one and uh, I would appreciate it have a great day subscribe to the channel we'll see you soon